Hey YouTube, thank you for watching. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Taurus TCP. It's a little 380 pocket pistol. And um, this gun's already been checked for safety, so don't worry about that. But I'm just going to do a quick little review on it and give you my thoughts on it and tell you what I like and don't like about it. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll start off with what came in the box. Of course, you have your uh, the gun itself and a magazine. came with one six round magazine. And uh, you got your instruction manual, a little padded case, and then... Uh, your keys for it. I'll get more into that a little bit later on. But for now, let's take a look at the gun. Like I said, it's a small little 380 little pocket pistol. Uh, pretty lightweight, compact, slim, real, real, real slim profile on it. Uh, it's a pocket pistol, so that's what you'd expect. Uh, you can see there's no safety on it, no manual safety. Uh, your safety is pretty much the double action trigger pull. And y'all can see here, it's it's got a little bit of take up in it. It's not a real heavy trigger pull. It, like compared to the LCP, it's actually pretty light. It's lighter than the LCP. But you can see there's a lot of take up. And then it breaks right there. Not a bad trigger. I mean, it's not the best by any means. But it's it's, it's pretty light. But it, again, it's got a real long, long pull on it. But like I said, it's real small, compact, lightweight. I mean, I have medium-sized hands. And it's not much bigger than it. Um... One thing I did like about it, right here on the side, it has a, uh, a loaded chamber indicator. Pretty much when you have a round in the chamber, that will stick out so you can feel and see it. And to know if there's one in the chamber or not, just a not neat little feature on there. It's got some serrations back here on the slide, a little bit of a textured grip. Uh, there's really nothing to get snagged on. It's real smooth. The sights, uh, they're just a little bit not sight and slightly raised front post. But uh, the slide release right here, it sticks out just a hair. So it might be able to get caught on something there, but really nothing else sticking out on this to get to get caught on anything. Real smooth and real sleek. Uh, the the frame right here is all polymer, and the uh, the slide of course is steel. Um, mag release it's pretty small. Uh, it's on everything is on, on one side on this gun. There's nothing on the on the right hand side for a left handed shooter. Your slide release and your mag release are all right here on the left. Um, one thing I thought was interesting, this gun didn't come with a lock. Instead, the lock is built into it, into the gun itself, which I'm really not a big fan of. I really, uh, I don't know if I, if, if I'm going to lock my gun and when I do, I want it to be blatantly, obviously, like a lock hanging off of there so I know it's locked. Because with this one, uh, you really can't tell. Uh, you, they give you a couple keys here, and you just put it in here and turn it clockwise, and then it'll lock it can't move the slide back and the trigger goes limp even if you uh, even if you have it one chambered simulate chambering around and then lock it the trigger locks up completely so uh, but like I said the thing about that is you can't really tell unless you go to pick it up if it's locked or not and if I'm when I lock a gun I want to make I want to know just one glance at it know it's locked like on your typical lock, if you had a a cable and a, a cable and a lock hanging out of there, you know for sure it's locked. But with this, you go lock it, and uh, just by looking at it, you can't really tell it's locked. Right here, uh, this will kind of stick out a little bit, but still, it's not really enough to to tell. So uh, I guess they're trying to be kind of neat, come up with that idea. But I really am not a fan of it. Uh, but it it wouldn't prevent me from buying the, the gun. I mean, it's in there, but nobody says I have to use it. I can always still get my my lock cable and run it through there like I would any other gun. But um, as far as what I like and dislike about it, I like the serrations on the slide. A little something to grip right there, and the textured hand textured uh, grip right here. It's not that much, but it's it's a nice little feature. Uh, the loaded chamber indicator, that's a plus for me. I like neat little feature on it. The trigger pull, uh, in, for this size of guns and uh, this kind of style, like the LCP style of, uh, of little 380s, the trigger is really not that bad compared to some of the other ones I've, I've handled. So a plus on the trigger. And of course it's compact, lightweight, real small. Uh, it's a pocket pistol, so uh, that's a plus. Also, one thing I'm going to point out is, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but right here, made in the USA. 
I always like to see that no matter what I think about the manufacturer or the gun I just like seeing made in the USA so plus there um, my dislikes on it is the magazine I'm re not really a big fan of the magazine I think it's uh, a little bit more cheaply made than some of the other ones it just doesn't have have uh, doesn't seem like a high quality magazine but then again it's TARS so um, another dislike is a locking system like I like I told you about but then again it's it's there but you don't have to use it you can still lock it in the traditional way but uh, it definitely doesn't do anything for me and another thing I don't like about it are the sights uh, there's not much to speak of they're not really a, a real sighting system just a little bit something uh, to help you out but then again it all goes to what the purpose of it is and uh, it's a pocket pistol so you really don't you're not really expecting a great uh, great sighting system on it I'm gonna go ahead and do a little takedown on it just to show you how to do it it's pretty simple just slide it back and lock the slide and get like a knife or a screwdriver or something and this little dot right there uh, it's a pin you'll pull it out usually have to get something be careful not to scratch the slide but just pry it out it'll come right out release the slide pull the trigger and it'll slide right off and then of course recoil spring guide rod and your barrel pretty simple and uh, take it apart clean it and then put it back same way you took it off just reverse it and the takedown on it is identical to the LCP this is pretty much a copy of the LCP uh, there's not really a whole lot of differences in them I think the LCP is made a little LCP is made a little bit better I'm more of a fan of the LCP than I am of this one but then again it's all personal preference I just think the LCP is made a little bit better but and uh, just slide slide all the way back like you had it make sure the barrels all the way forward and it takes a little bit to get this pin in got to kind of find the right spot you can kind of see in there line it up and it'll slide in release the slide check the function of it we're good to go like I said I'm not really a big fan of TARS uh, just never really been a fan of their guns but uh, this one's pretty cheap uh, I definitely recommend the LCP over this but uh, the LCP costs a little bit more but I just really not a big fan of TARS it's not a bad gun but I just don't think it's made as good as a Ruger or some of the other manufacturers out there but that's just personal opinion there's a million other people out there that say Taurus are great guns and never had any problems with them but that's just my personal opinion on that but anyways I think that's about it for this review uh, if you have any questions drop them in the comments below I always love to hear feedback on my channel videos all that good stuff so like comment subscribe and uh, like I said if you have any questions don't don't hesitate to ask I'll do my best to answer them but anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see y'all next time.